Hi, this is Phil. Peg and I have met up with Thomas and Elise from Piper Aircraft. We're going to experience the new M600 Garmin Autoland system. Let's see if Peg can land this aircraft with the push of a button. Here we go. So it'll do something again, so just hold it for one second. Emergency auto land activated. So you see over here? The emergency yeah. auto land system is controlling the aircraft and will land at the safest nearby airport. Please remain calm. Avoid touching the flight controls, which may Basically what it's showing you is it's showing you exactly what it's going to do. And now you can see the auto throttle here. This screen you will not have in real life, but you can see the to torque the is increasing because you guys are having an emergency. emergency so the aircraft wants to get to the destination as quick as it possibly can. Yep. If you would like um, to talk to air traffic control, it does it what, like 230 knots or something? So it's clear yep. and close to your mouth. Like a walkie-talkie, press and hold the that's talk button. 230. That's what it's trying to speed up to. So we what it will do now, it's going to fly straight to the, the final approach fix for runway 05, or just about two miles before it. Then it will After try to slow down to 140. You will hear regular if it has not reached 140 by the time it gets to the final approach fix, then it will take one turn, one hold, and get stabilized, and then it will continue right down. Now. We just maybe want to watch our heads because if it becomes bumpy and we have 230 30 knots, we might be hitting there. Yeah. So just be... Uh, well prepared and strapped in. Yeah. So, you will these this screen you'll have, and this screen will be the same over here in the, okay. in the real event. Flight functions. You won't need to do anything. Ensure your seatbelt is tight. Stow any loose articles prior to landing. You'll arrive at your destination shortly. Uh, Once the aircraft has landed turn, yeah. and come to a complete stop. Exit so we were in at the door. final approach fix? Yeah, we were at the final approach fix, but she felt like she wasn't stable enough. Yeah. So that's when she made one left turn. And now you'll see she'll keep the 140. And as soon as we get back to this point, she will lower the gear, put the flaps to take off, and then she'll make the uh, approach by about 102 all the way. Because um, it's going to fly down and flare just in the last minute, so it's a little bit firmer than hopefully Phil will normally do it. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, then it might wear a little bit off, but it will try to correct itself to get back on the center line. Okay. Amazing. It's, uh... Um How'd you feel, Phil, <laughs> with not being uh, in control? <laughs> That's cool. different, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm not in landing. control. You are, <laughs> so I'm used to not. But I was wondering how you were feeling. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I I'll wanted to pull back right at the end a yeah, little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so That's impressive. Very All impressive. Right. Just amazing. <laughs> so it's then it would get the airplane completely stopped and shut down the engine and the right. real thing. Right. And then it has one more video that it plays that says, here's how you take off your seatbelt, here's how you open the door, don't okay. go anywhere near the propeller. Um, so it's kind of cool. Oh, amazing. God. Wow. Wow. This is the most impressive thing I've ever seen in a general aviation aircraft. Oh yeah, Peg did a great job landing this aircraft, don't you think so?